What's up guys? Thanks for clicking on the video. Before we get into it, I'd like to tell you a little bit about why I love this life and the boating community. It doesn't matter how much money you have, what kind of boats you have, there's gonna come a time where you're gonna need somebody else's help, another boater. And for that reason, it kind of levels the playing field for everybody. Everybody's cool, everybody's willing to help each other, everybody's willing to put into that karma bank a little bit because they know there's gonna come a time where they're gonna have to draw from it. My buddy Plucky is in trouble and we need to rise up and start helping him out. So the channel is Sailing Into Freedom. If you haven't seen him before, he's a badass. Plucky and I actually had the same model catamaran. He lost his off the shores of Western Australia. I lost mine off of Hawaii. We're both on monohull boats and his just got hit by lightning. Not only did it get hit by lightning, but he caught it on film. He was solo and it pretty much blew the shaft log out. He managed to save the boat, but it's going to require extensive repairs. Please go up here, click on his video, support him, go now, go now. I'd rather you go and, and help him out than watch this. My name is James Evenson. I'm a mechanic, a musician, and a round-the-world sailor. Four years ago, I'd sold everything and made some interesting life choices. I bought a catamaran, built a hardtop, sailed to Cuba, painted shark's teeth on the front of the cat, met a girl, lost a rudder, built a rudder in a shed, lost the other rudder, built a rudder on the beach, dressed in drag, made coffee in a sock, dressed in drag again, sailed to Easter Island, sank the dinghy, sailed to Pitcairn, sank the dinghy again, sailed to French Polynesia, sank the dinghy one more time, got a new dinghy, I meant to do that. Sailed to Hawaii, shipwrecked in Hawaii. Rode the catamaran down the street at three o'clock in the morning. Wrote some magazine articles. Started a Kickstarter campaign. Broke up with the girl. Flew to Curacao. And now, I'm finally grinding my way back to life on the water and my next adventure. What's up, my people? So if you can remember last week, we decided that all of the through holes in the whole boat had to come out. We, like the royal we? Yeah, wait, wait, what? Pardon me, sir. Before you go, as a new oyster owner, we would prefer if you would speak of yourself in the third person. So those guys did a little bit of damage to my boat. Because the valves were all glassed over, they were fiberglassed over when they were installed in the factory, when they broke them out, they kind of exploded. So you can see kind of how the fiberglass is torn up. I know it's upside down, but that's the only way I can film it right now. This isn't really built up fiberglass. It's like, it's almost like subfloor. It's almost like they built a boat and then made a whole another, another layer of glass and just went around the through holes. But man, that's a lot of fiberglass to ground away. It is not fun. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. M most of them are like that. This one's pretty chewed up too. What a mess. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grind it down and get rid of all the delaminating glass. Then we're gonna fill it with cabocil and make it really flat. And then we're gonna put a Teflon washer over it. So the Teflon will be both a backing plate and just kind of a beautification plate. The only problem with that is I've got true design through hole fittings and a couple places in the hole it's really thick. Like right in the back, it's like two inches thick. I smashed this through hole out. The boat's so thick right here, look. It's two inches thick right here. That's insane. That can't be the whole boat. Wow. That's worth the work, huh? So I might actually have to get bronze ones for there because I think they're they're exceeding the draw length amount. But even if I do have to, it's just two. And then I can ground them right to the rudder. So we're gonna cover that. Plus, we're gonna drop the rudder. So this is gonna be a really cool episode if you've never seen that or if you have and you wonder how I do it. I'm not really sure how to get the rudder off. Every sailboat's built differently. I do have the schematics, but I'm gonna need some help. So for that, I turned to my WhatsApp group. Thank you very much, guys. I listened to your advice and I'm actually done with this job now. But first you gotta see the mess I made with the through holes. Oh my God. There's fiberglass everywhere.
Okay, boys and girls, today is rudder day. We're gonna take the try to take the rudder down today. I think what I'm gonna do is put some straps on it from the top and then just kind of lower it down with the winches. And uh, yeah, let's see what this <laughs> how this works. I'm not gonna be able to do this by myself, but we're gonna take the bolts out of the bottom and then the quadrant off the top, and then we're just gonna take the packing off and see if we can just slide it down. That's the way to go, I think. All right, wish me luck. What is up? This is my buddy Hein. Say hi, Hein. Hi, man. And this is a piece of wood that I'm gonna smash the rudder on the top with and try to get it down. And it's just gonna fall. And then the, when the boat lifts it off, then we'll like lay it down and then we'll like make a cradle for it. But seriously, it's only like a foot, maybe a foot and a half. It's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm gonna put a piece of wood underneath it. Hein's gonna kind of wiggle it and I'm gonna hit it crazy. You can put that piece of wood down, bro. <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was like displaying it or something. Yeah. Sell it on eBay. Like, like, do you know who Vanna White is? Are you are you young enough to know that? <laughs> the uh, Wheel of Fortune. I do. So wish us luck. No, keep your toes out of the way, dude. I will. <laughs> All right. Who? Raise your hand if you think this is a bad idea. <laughs> Not me. What's up, people? So I'm trying to take the rudder off this morning been working on it for about an hour. I got the quadrant apart, I got the bushing apart, everything's apart. It's just the shaft inside the thing. I took the screws out of here. There's no screws in there, you can see through it. And uh, this is the shoe. This is the skeg, so this is part of the boat. The shoe comes off with the rudder. And then, I don't even see a bushing in the bottom. I don't know if it rides on one or not. But um, if it does, I'll get one made but the rudder will not come down. I've been hitting the sh out of it. I mean like banging on it with this huge piece of wood. Nothing. I'm gonna have to try to pull it off, pull it down somehow maybe, or maybe anchor it to the ground and like put some straps around it and like let the boat lift it off. I think that sounds a little dangerous to me, honestly, but I need to get some kind of force on it from the bottom. So. Wish me luck. There it goes, there it goes. Oh my god. Go, go, go. <laughs> Stay back! <laughs> Yep, it's all the way down. That's crazy. Woohoo! Don't stop it. <laughs> no, I will. <laughs> you rock! Damn, yeah. right. Oh my gosh. That I was, was wow. I was like five yeah. hours in, pissed off. <laughs> you showed up like a knight in shining armor. No, no, come on. Yeah. yeah. Look at this thing. Well, this is the problem. So. That was probably added later. Second of all, there's all kinds of crap in here. Look 
can see all the dust and everything. And then the, everything's just really old. Yeah, it needs to all be cleaned and replaced and stuff. Cool. Oh, so cool. Nicely done tomorrow. Did a little bit of damage to the rudder, the skeg, but um, that's totally fixable. With a little bit of epoxy and some cabosil. I'll fix that, I'll paint that, that part's pretty bad. <laughs> okay, well, that's kind of what I thought was in there. You know what's crazy is there is no Arbamast in here. Oh, there is, I see, this is it. Wow, this stuff is supposed to be wet still. I think this is epoxy. It is. It is epoxy. Definitely. Somebody epoxied this fucker in there, that's why. Just they didn't have the right stuff. That's crazy. Oh. <laughs> Mother. Don't epoxy it. Talk Don't about it. screw the next guy. Just go for it. All right. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. Great. But this is epoxy. Who would epoxy that in there? That's you... crazy. Why would you do Dumbass. that? Dumbass. Oh. So, I just found something else out that's really freaking cool. Check this out. This is going to save me like 250 bucks. The rudder is completely out. I mean, if the, if the boat were an inch lower, it probably wouldn't be able to come out. But as it is now, I can just take it out and lay it down. And the boat doesn't have to be lifted up over it. Isn't that cool? And then I can figure out how to get that shoe off. And then I can replace all that stuff. Cool. Okay, well, I have some work to do. Yes. That's great news. Great news.